Hi Libra, welcome into a brief next 48 hour tarot reading for you. I do want to thank you so much for joining me for this reading, but do keep in mind as we move forward. This is general and it's meant to pertain to the following 48 hour period for you, beginning around when you're guided or drawn to this video, not just following when I post it. But I did um, channel five different random messages um, before beginning this reading. So let's go through those first and then we'll jump right into the Mystic Mondays Tarot. But the first one uh, was you are special, you are special, as well as ultra sensitive. I feel like you're going to be reminded that you're truly special in more than one way, uh, specifically uh, for you, right? Um, not to be compared to other Libras or anybody else in your life, um, your path being individual for you and being special all the meanwhile. But I do feel like throughout the next 48, whether it's due to how energy affects you, uh, who surrounds you, uh, your spirituality, certain uh, noise factors, sudden movements or occurrences, you're going to be feeling quite uh, ultra sensitive and some of which onto the reading and I know me being one of them because I'm a Leo Libra Libra have been feeling quite sensitive um, recently as well and so don't be surprised when that continues or just happens to come to be you just feel that way in the next 48 but we also got moving with confidence moving with confidence and I feel like it's this peaceful confidence about uh, each leverage onto this reading where there may be sparks of uh, very energetic movement or just passion in the next 48, but I feel as if there's no shortage of confidence to say the very least. Quite uh, very well spoken for the most part in the next 48, and I want to say as well, um, even if you slip up or stutter at certain points. And I also got a light to be appreciated, a light to be appreciated, all right, that tying into your confidence, your caring nature. Um, and just your, they're saying lighthearted way of being at certain points. Um, but I feel like as well, just your peaceful nature and a dreamy state of being, a dreamy state of being. Now I do feel like um, this may tie into at certain points, you'll notice oneself drifting away from what's at hand, whether it's a conversation, what you're being informed of, um, work, right? Uh, you just find oneself daydreaming, drifting to fantasy land or just uh, what would be more ideal for you in comparison to what's at hand or what you are wrapped up with in general. It could be more so you just kind of uh, visualizing. It could be more than one way of this coming through, but visualizing what you um, desire moving forward, right? The perfect living situation where you wish to move to, uh, that perfect job success uh, or situation for oneself, that perfect relationship, uh, perfect types of friends for oneself at this point along your path. I feel like you're thinking about a lot of perfection that you foresee for oneself moving forward and spirit saying it can definitely come to be but try to at certain moments if you feel like getting out of hand or just not helping what's uh presently at hand uh you're wrapped up with to just come on back to the present moment and recognize that you will be manifesting uh, most of which if not all of which that you're imagining so in that sense as well do just uh, only imagine the best because I did see the five of cups. Don't be expecting the worst at certain points, even if it is valid to an extent. Sorry if that was a lot. What do we have for Libra to continue? My daily read that I just did for Monday was quite, I was very nervous while doing it. And I was wondering if it was more so where I'm at currently, the energy in the air in this living situation, or if it was just me being ultra sensitive, because again, that's been how, you know, I've been feeling. Um, but I'm feeling less um, nervous in your energy in comparison to the daily read. Um, there is a little hint of it, but I feel as if it was very specific for that reading for that day. So the Knight of Cups in reverse, I really do feel as if there is a focus on the fact that you, a lot of which drawn to the reading don't have that perfect somebody for oneself. Uh, that knight in shining armor is what they're saying regardless of what gender you would attach to that person um, or would be ideal for you. But I also feel like this is talking about how with what you're accomplishing in the next 40 and with what you're even daydreaming about, there isn't an emotional attachment to, to any of which or most of which, and this is going to help you manifest quite easily. But I, I do feel like there's just kind of this distant way of connecting with people. Does that make sense? It's almost as if you're keeping people at arm's length or you're just um, people notice that you're not investing in connections for the most part at this time or fully um, emotionally. Does that make sense? Where you're just kind of uh, flowing with it and it doesn't mean you're not bonding with people, but it's like you're not going to, it's like your guards up in that sense. You don't want to risk the disappointment or you just don't 
feel very emotional for whatever reason. It's like you do feel ultra sensitive in certain ways and very affected, um, however that works for you, but there just isn't a lot of emotion within your situation, even with certain stresses that are coming to be or just you've been dealing with recently. Very interesting. They're saying you're one complex individual and I feel like you're being reminded you have dealt with a lot of BS up until this point along your path, but um, hasn't it made you stronger, right? And you might just be prepared in that sense to cope with or deal with certain stressful factors um, in the next 48 or just moving forward. Um, there is thoughts of travel, right? With um, what I think was just a plane that went by. The Ten of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles, because I do feel as if there's thoughts of your ultra fulfillment, right? That um, happily ever after for oneself uh, or just that beautiful, fulfilling step in the right direction, right? Uh, something that would be better than what's at hand. But I feel like there's key moments when you're working and you drift away, right? Or you just even for some predict uh, something of importance for that perfect situation for oneself or you're just uh, or for your fulfilling future. But I also just feel like you're being viewed as a very creative individual, somebody who talks a lot but gets a lot accomplished and helps people through it at times. But I do feel like you're going to get a download from spirit. Uh, however, this comes through for you individually. It could be through your dreams, uh, one in particular. It could be through your thoughts. It could be a synchronicity, um, something reoccurring multiple times, I want to say. And this is going to be in regards to your future and potentially connecting to a disappointment in the past. Nothing is the same as what I'm hearing. Nothing is the same. I feel like people are wondering what you're up to as well at a distance. Um, 712, look up the angel number, meaning 712. Um, I do feel as if when you invest your energy, your resources, your attention into uh, whatever it may be in the next 48, whatever you decide to accomplish or wrap oneself up with, ends up being very successful as a sense of an almost an effortless uh, way of accomplishing and just checking things off your to-do list or just helping people and or yourself, right? Um, and spirit saying this is because of the repetitive way about you, the consistency uh, of doing something, per perfecting it over time, right? Or just um, being an expert in your field or just when it comes to your craft, um, a master of your craft. The queen of swords and the queen of pentacles, a bit of a focus on your feminine side in the next 48 male or female being drawn to this reading. And I do feel as if there's a feeling of you being very predictive in nature for a lot. Um, this kind of coming through as, uh, um, uh, what's it called? Um, there's no, they're giving me the wrong answer. Anyways, um, you know, a crystal ball. Thank you. And I do feel as if for a lot, this is more so talking about you having more control when it comes to the development of your world, moving forward your path, right? At times feeling like your spirituality or just, um, certain outside factors out of your control, twists and turns, leave you feeling less in control than you actually are. But Spirit's saying, we're going to remind you in the next 48, things are changing and you have more control than it feels at times. But I do feel like through that, what needs to be released out of respect for what you wish to see come to be, it's as if you can manifest quite easily at this point along your path. But what's going to make it a lot easier and realistically what needs to be cut out as far as overspending, uh, over consuming, who and what you're wrapped up with at certain points, right? What's weighing you down or creating blockages at this time? I um, mean, potentially will be moving forward, right? Some realistic reassessing and questioning needing to take place. And I feel like through it all, through that important download, several other downloads for some, uh, through your predictive uh, assumptions, okay? Through what other people are teaching you, there's a lot of learning in the next 48. And I feel like there could be even one, if not multiple important text messages or emails coming through. But I also feel like spirit may just communicate with you through what you're feeling drawn to watch online, right? Whether it's social media, it could be a TV show, movie, um, that doesn't have to be online, but I feel like for a lot it is. And I just feel as if there's gonna be more comfort in the next 48 than you will expect. But Spirit's saying, do um, move forward with this ultimate confidence that we foresee you having in the next 48, but don't let your pride get in your way. It feels like, all the meanwhile, you're being pushed to recognize that things are truly falling into place for you in a very um, smooth and effective manner. And it feels like there is a colorful vibe about the next 48, but 
due to you not feeling emotional and just feeling potentially a bit drained in certain ways, um, needing to find certain ways to uplift your energy, right? Uh, or just feel a bit more alive so that things don't feel uh, mundane or just boring, okay? Um, or just repetitive in certain ways um, or to make the best set of those repetitive tasks, right? Or mundane tasks. And I feel like the next 48 reminds you again, things are falling into place and you're one truly special individual. Um, and this is part of why you're feeling ultra sensitive and just um, succeeding in so many ways in the next 48. But uh, there's a true focus on your dreamy state of being and how bright your future truly is. All right. So I hope this was truly helpful. Sending you so much love and light. Go enjoy your next 48 and I'll see you next time.